and knew this hour raising awareness about ADHD, how one man's journey is now helping many others understand and fight the stigma about this, especially amongst children. We go one on one with author Peter Shankman to talk about his new book, The Boy with the Faster Brain. That's ahead. At 9.33, just like every tough topic and hard conversation, everything starts with dialogue. And although we're in a better place nowadays when it comes to talking about mental health, there's still a lot of stigma regarding neurodiversity. You may not even have heard that term before. One author who knows firsthand the challenges of living with ADHD is now on a mission to spread awareness about psychological well-being, not only for adults, but especially among children. His new book, The Boy with the Faster Brain, bringing attention to the topic. Peter Shankman, thank you so much for joining us this great morning. It's great here. to have you here. You're a great friend. I've known you forever. I love the fact that you are bringing this to kids in a way that's so accessible to them and also really helping parents with it as well because we're hearing more and more about parents, you know, older people getting diagnosed yeah. with ADHD later in life. Parents are the number one uh, uh, diagnosed group of, of society yes. right now because they bring their kids in and they say, wait, that sounds like me. You know, and so Which would follow, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s in public schools in New York City, I, ADHD didn't exist. What existed was right. sit down, you're disrupting the class. Yeah. You're broken, there's something wrong with you, just be quiet. And I, I carried that for the first 35 years of my life, and it and, was tough. And what's unfortunate about that is that was the 70s and 80s, but we still see that happen in some settings. Now, this, the schools, teachers, everybody is so much more well-versed yeah. about the neurodiversity and how different children learn in different ways. I have a child that's a different yeah. learner, and the school has been exceptionally wonderful when it comes to helping kids and meeting them where they're at. But we still have you know, challenges when it comes to understanding this. Well, that's the story I'm trying to tell. I'm trying to explain yeah. to these kids that they are brilliant, not broken and their different yeah. brains make them better. Anyone who's ever done anything creative, you know, the founders of this country didn't, didn't just come to this country, hey, we're gonna start a new country. You don't do that if you have a normal brain, yeah. right? You don't do these incredible things. I've, I, I don't remember to take the trash out, but I've started and sold $3 million company, right? So it's like, <laughs> you know, where, where, is the, where is the math here? So, where is the disconnect? So what I want kids to understand is that having a different brain is, is a gift and not a curse, right? And, and the problem is, you know, you're told, oh, you have this thing, you're different. And when you're eight years old, you don't wanna hear that. Nobody what you want to hear is that your yeah. brain is faster yeah. and that you can do amazing things if you just learn how to drive that faster brain. Well, and, and that's what I love about the, the message in this story is that it's you've got a better brain, actually, yeah. right? Helping the kids yeah. to see the ways that they can excel. We just need to learn how to harness that. And you talk about the different therapies yeah. that are used now frequently. Kids will just have to get up and go to the back of the room, simply right. standing up and moving. or Exercise, exercise and breathing. Right. I mean, you know, my daughter is, is, is going to be 10 next week and, and she understands that daddy gets up at 4 a.m. every day and gets on his Peloton for two hours because if he doesn't, he's not as happy. Right. right, he doesn't get those dopamine chemicals that stuff yeah. he needs for his faster brain, and and she sees the difference in me when I don't work out versus when I do, or when I, when I take long walks, or you know, and it works, and 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 we don't. I'm not anti medicine, but it doesn't have to be the first line of defense. We can do there other. There are other we don't ways. We put five year olds on, on amphetamines because they're acting like they're five. We can do other things <laughs> first, right? I have a prescription, but I don't have to take it every day. Right. It's all about understanding how your brain works. My brain's different than yours. Your brain's different than his. Everyone's brain is different, and once we understand how our brain work, we can use them to our advantage to just do incredible things. Let, let's talk about how the fact that you've written this children's in other books as well. You're a keynote speaker. Talk about those other arenas. Yeah, so I mean, I, I started my career. I, the one, I had one job in my life. I worked for America Online back in the 90s when AOL was the internet. AOL. Right? And I started the newsroom <laughs> there, and I'm a journal, journalism background. And then I, I, after my second job, I, I went my second job. I lasted for a week. And I'm like, you know, they need 8.30 meetings and 9 a.m. meetings. And that. I don't do that. I don't work like that, right? I, don't, I might be working from 3 a.m. to noon, um, because my brain is different. And so uh, years of customer service, training companies how to do better customer experience, and giving keynotes all around the world. Right. I launched a company for journalists called Help a Reporter Out, which was acquired by Cision. I mean, all these. Which, then, I, which I've used you, that yeah, resource. It's yeah. a terrific resource. Ta and speaking of resources, what would you encourage parents, children, adults to do if they think, hey, wait a minute, some of the things that Peter is saying right now resonate with me, yeah. what would you encourage them to do? The first thing to do is really understand what you enjoy doing, right? 
right? How can you do more of that? When we do something we enjoy, it gives us dopamine, it gives us serotonin, it gives us adrenaline. Those you three, on the bike, you right, on the Right, right. There's a reason yeah. I skydive. People think I'm crazy, but I have over 500 <laughs> skydives because I love doing that. It you're makes me focus. You're not crazy. You're crazy good. Exactly. Peter Shankman, thank you so much for coming in, shining a light on this, and helping us find a way to drive our faster brains. Terrific author. Great to have you here. Thanks for Congratulations me. on the book, The Boy thank with you. a Faster Brain by Peter Shankman, is available right now on Amazon. You can learn more about ADHD and find resources at shankman.com.